Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to walk you through how to increase your PHP memory and your PHP upload limits from right inside of cPanel. Unfortunately, some of the older hosts out there, they still require you using a PHP any file that you can um, put in each directory. That works and that's good, but a lot of times that can be confusing as well, and especially if you're wanting to um, ever move web hosts or if you ha have a lot of stuff in there, it gets confusing. So we do everything inside of cPanel. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You want to log in um, from the top. You can click log in, and I'm going to log in with my demo account. Once I get inside of here, I'm going to go to Cloud Web Hosting, then I'm going to click on my package. In my case, it's Startup right here, and then I want to go to cPanel. Now, this is going to be the cPanel of the site you're trying to increase. If you're a, if you're a reseller with this, you might have to log into Web Host Manager first to get to the right cPanel. So I'm going to click Log In to cPanel. And of course, if you have the domain that's pointed to us, you can go to the domain.com slash cPanel and it will bring this up as well. Okay, so once I'm inside, I'm going to look for, I'm just going to type in PHP at the top. And you can see right down here, you see our PHP selector. So select PHP version. So I click here. Okay, you're going to see this account's currently running PHP 5.6. Um, if it was something different, I could um, change it. And um, once I once this is set, though, I can look over here to PHP options, and this is where we're going to change that upload limit. Okay, so now that we're on our um, PHP options, you can see our memory limit is currently set to 128. So if we want to increase that, we can. If we want to decrease it, we can as well. Um, if we want to make it really really high, I don't recommend going that high, um, but you may need to for to test it out, but you would, uh, you're probably gonna start hitting some limits to win exactly that high, but you can change it. And then also you can, um, your max file size, instead of regular two megabytes, you can go up to 64, sometimes that helps. Um, same with the um, post max size, um, increase that too. And just remember, we're gonna keep that back down at the 128 so we don't hit other limits, but um, that's, we, you can see that will change both the um, upload to 64. So now we'll click save. And now we're set to head back to WordPress or whatever script we're using, and this limit should be increased. Now, it's also important to note that you can look at PHP extensions, and you can add these for your account. So if you're installing a script, a PHP script, maybe it's a WordPress plugin, and it requires something like PDO, you can go to your, to your extension page here, page here and you can make sure that things are enabled. So you can see PDO is in fact enabled. Um, SOAP is a big one that a lot of people um, like to enable. And you can just click here to enable it and click save. And now um, PHP is enabled with SOAP. So you can change that, both the options, you can change your upload limits, and then you can also go over to the extensions and add or take away from what you need. Now, it's also important to note that you can go all the way up to 7.1. So a lot of um, web hosts don't even offer that yet. So we, we do want to make that available. Now, one thing I will say about 7.1 is there's a lot of pieces of software that's still not quite up to there yet. So we, we tell customers, if you don't know what you're doing, stay at 5.6 for now. But we're, of course, working towards that with all our vendors to get to 7.1. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to let us know, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. But that's really as quick and, quick and easy as it is to get your memory limit and upload limit increased at Name Hero. Thanks so much.